G'day, it's Craig, and this is my camping channel. Today I'm reviewing the Dixon Stainless Steel Toaster. Okay, so this is the um, Dixon Stainless Steel um, Toaster. It's made in New Zealand. There are copies out there, but I feel it's best to support New Zealand made as a New Zealander. Stainless steel frame. Uh, one, two, three, four guides that hold the bread away from a stainless steel mesh. So the um, toaster goes on to um, flame source in case gas burner and the mesh heats up and um, gradually toasts your bread. Here's the jug. So you, you need a flame source. Now it takes a bit of trial and effort. Um, a medium source, probably fine. I've got a little bit higher because of the bread I'm going to toast. So you don't really have to wait for it to start heating up. Uh, you just need to get into it. Okay, so. There's no safety manual or anything, but clearly uh, you're using open flames and parts of this are going to get really hot in the process. So it's uh, take some care. <laughs> Toasting um, Vogel's um, sandwich bread. It's um, a New Zealand loaf of bread. Um, it's been around for a long time and it's one of my favourites for toasting. The problem for toasting is it's quite a moist bread, so it takes longer to toast. I like the thin sandwich bread, often called the original this way. Um, because I like the crunchiness when it's toasted. So it's a mixed grain bread. I've just placed it on there. <laughs> There's no real secret recipes. What you have to do is keep an eye on it. It's um, not going to pop up. And halfway through the cooking process, we have to turn the bread around to toast the other side. So, um, can't walk and leave it. It's basically open fire with um, bread, which is flammable. So you need to keep an eye on it. Every once in a while, just check to see how your bread is going. You want the Dixon toaster to be central above the flame, so it heats evenly on both sides. It's going to take a little while. I've been a grain bread, I should hear the grain start popping. Okay, so this piece is um, mostly cooked on that side, so I'm going to flip it and cook the other side. And this was getting there too, so I'm going to turn that over. Okay, well this piece is done. And this piece as well. Hey, so not the quickest process, but that's really not the toaster's fault. That's this bread. It takes um, quite a long time to do in the normal toaster, because it's brown bread. Which is always quite strange. I've always wondered why people ask you in cafes, uh, would you like brown or white toast? Brown bread toasted. Or white bread toasted. Seems a bit pedantic, but yeah. All toast is brown. Okay, so I've just turned that off. Right, I've got my toast. It took a little while, but it's going to be worth it. Hey, I like butter. Um, not totally averse to other spreads, but if I can get it and you have a fridge, it's 
because it can get quite hot and butter melts. Um, butter is best in my book. Um, now, I'm putting on quite a bit of butter because I like butter. But mostly because I like butter with this topping. Now, this is Marmite. It's New Zealand Marmite. That means it's different than English Marmite or any other substitutes out there. There is some controversy between Marmite and Vegemite users. Uh, whereas I would say that Marmite has a um, rich umami taste um, and maybe saltiness, um, and Vegemite is vile. Other people um, strangely love Vegemite. Now, I'm not saying I'm right or they're wrong, but clearly Marmite is superior. Um, <laughs> if you come from a different culture than uh, New Zealand or Australia or England, you, you may not know the, the light that is Marmite. It is um, polarizing in taste. Um, <laughs> you're probably going to hate it the first time. <laughs> But if you grew up with it like I did, it's um, unbeatable. Yeah, so it's uh, made from the byproduct of beer. It's a yeast extract. Um, so it doesn't that sound inviting? Um, and it's, um, as it says on the thing, rich in iron, vitamins, folate. Um, it's um, totally vegetarian. There has been um, scandalous comments made by Vegemite users that this contains uh, meat products, but no, it is totally vegetarian, uh, as is Vegemite. But needless to say, I wouldn't cast scurrilous remarks to, uh, about Vegemite users, other than they are a form of subhuman, I believe. Okay, so Marmite. <laughs> it's as tricky as you want on wild butter, and not too much Marmite. Um, it's really quite intense and um, a little goes a long way. So I spread it on thinly. This bread is quite crunchy once it's toasted. Not quite a cracker, but um, a lot denser and firmer. So, uh, marmite on Vogel's toast with lots of butter. Uh, cooked on the um, Dixon toaster here in the camper van. Tastes like home. It's um, full flavour, salty. The butter adds a little bit more salt, a little bit crunchy, delicious. Hey, um, just crept over 50 subscribers. Um, you can't all be family members, so hey, thanks for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll um, try and keep pumping videos out and if you are a family member and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, shame on you. <laughs> hey, take care till next week, eh? Ciao.